Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to explain how to test and diagnose the transmission input sensors on this six-speed automatic transmission, which is widely used on Kian Hyundai vehicles. So uh, we're going to start by having a look at the wind diagram, and then we will see how we can perform the diagnostic on the wiring before removing the sensor. And at the end of the video, I'm going to show you how to remove the sensor from the transmission and how to uh, replace it. If you are interested to learn more, you can check our online courses on udemy.com where you can enroll to full diagnostic courses and get the certificate of completion. You can find the link to those online courses in the video description. All right, guys, when you have input SP sensor fault code, the first thing that you need to check on the transmission before removing the valve body and the sensor itself, because it's really time consuming, you need to perform the diagnostic on the transmission in advance. So the first thing that we need to do, as you see the wiring diagram, on the input SP sensor, we have two wires. One is the power supply, the other one is the signal. So we're gonna need to check both of them right here. So for the power supply, we can actually check it right here on the transmission connector that I disconnected from here. Again, as you see on the uh, connector guide on the transmission, pin number 14 is actually the power supply on input speed sensor. So we're gonna need to find that one right here. And according to the connector guide, uh, this is pin number 14. Okay, so put the multimeter on voltage and check the voltage between here and body ground. So as you see, we are expecting something around nine volts when we are checking the input SP sensor output voltage. So this confirms that the output voltage on the sensor is provided and there's nothing wrong with that. If it is not provided, you need to check this wiring all the way between here and PCM. Otherwise, we go to the next step to check the signal and if these two are okay we need to go for replacing the sensor which i show you where the sensor is located and how to replace it at the end of this video all right guys we already checked the transmission input sensor voltage on the transmission connector so if you find any problem over there of course you need to get it fixed otherwise the next thing outside of the transmission is going to be the sensor signal i'm going to show you how to check the signal wire right now on the transmission. So as you see, the signal wire is actually a blue wire, which is connected to transmission from one end and ECM from the other end. So I need to find each end one by one to check it out. So the first end on the transmission connector is actually pin number eight. And as you see the connector guide, uh, this is my transmission connector. So this is pin number five, six, seven, eight. I'm looking for this one. This is one end of the input sensor signal. And the other end is connected to pin number 99 on uh, EGGA connector on PCM, which is this one. And the 99, as you see on the connector guide, is gonna be down here. So I'm looking at the connector upside down, that's why the orientation from this one is different from what you see. It's actually rotated 100 degrees. If you rotate this one, it's going to be exactly the same as your connector guide. So now I'm going to go for checking the resistance. On multimeter, select the resistance. One end of the multimeter down here on the transmission connector. And I keep this one just like this. And I need to just reach to pin number 99 as I see it right here. So we are getting the continuity, it means the wiring is not open and the resistance value that you are getting is gonna be something uh, close to one ohm. So as you see, this one is dropping. The ultimate uh, resistance that you are getting, it should be something close to one ohm. It means when you have one ohm just like this one, even less than one ohm, it means the wiring is okay and there is no high resistance. And this sound is continuity sound, it means the wiring is not open. So if you find a problem over here, that's actually the cause of your fault. 
you need to get it fixed otherwise most likely you need to go for the transmission itself to drain the ATF and reach to the valve body so let's see how we can do it All right, guys, here we have the speed sensors. So this is the input, and this one is output the speed sensors. They are actually integrated in one unit. So you have to remove them together, and you have to replace them together. So there is one connector at the top right here. So there is just one lock at the side. If I press the lock, so this one, there is this lock. You press this lock, and you can release the connector. Then you have two bolts over here to removed to be able to get the uh, speed sensors out. So right now we can take the sensors out. Just do it very carefully. All right, so these are actually speed sensors uh, input and output speed sensors. All right, guys, so we have already removed the speed sensors. Of course, after replacement, you do everything in reverse order to install this one and the valve body and proper ATF inside the transmission, and that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to visit the channel page for more diagnostic videos.